Good day everyone, it's uh, August 30th, 2019, Friday morning, I'm down in uh, Digby, Nova Scotia, they had the uh, Wharf Rat Motorcycle Rally this weekend, and Honda is on site giving test rides on their uh, Go Wings, so I come down, I'm going to test ride the um, 2019 Honda Gold Wing, the standard six speed along with the uh, seven speed DCT just a quick push on the start button and uh, this thing fires right up just trying to go through some of the controls here and see uh, what the last guy uh, left on looks like the uh, CD goes on so I'll turn that off it's about 27 degrees there today and very light winds so uh, Definitely don't need C8. It's a little busy getting out of this parking lot. There's a few stores here. You got Sobeys, Canadian Tire, there's a liquor commission there, and a few other small businesses. So it uh, takes a little while to get out of this parking lot. The DCT uh, shifts up shifts really uh, really early like uh, by the time you're doing uh, 60 kilometers you're already in uh, sixth gear so uh, I'm thinking the gas mileage on the DCT is going to be uh, uh, quite quite a bit better than the uh, than the standard model just because it uh, the RPMs tend to stay uh, so much lower I test rode the uh, standard uh, Goldwing uh, about an hour earlier, and uh, now the DCT uh, feels very familiar. The the, the Goldwing, uh, even though I only rode for about 30 minutes before, it feels really comfortable, really familiar, very easy bike to get used to, and to become accustomed to. Well, this bike, uh, the DCT, and the standard one I rode earlier have around 12,000 kilometers so um, about the same usage and both bikes handled really well no noises nothing uh, stood out as being worn or uh, noisy anything like that all in, uh, all in good shape
The test ride follows the same route as uh, I did about an hour ago on the standard model. Uh, not much highway driving, just maybe three or four kilometers right away as soon as, uh, as, soon as we get on the highway here. Um, and after that, it's more uh, more slower in town speeds. But you get a little little taste of what you can do on the highway anyway. The DCT transmission is so smooth. It just works its way up through the gears effortlessly. You just control what mode you want to be in, rain, econ, tour or sport and how fast you or how much you twist the throttle and that determines how fast you get up to speed it's it's truly an amazing machine The only real handling adjustment uh, you really got to make is when cornering, you just got to start it, your, uh, your commit to your corner just ever so slightly before you would normally do. And I think it's basically because of the uh, much longer wheelbase on, on the Goldwing. Just uh, you got to start to turn ever so slightly before you normally would. The bike has been uh, handling just amazing and it's uh, it's right here in this rough spot over this little uh, brook here that it really uh, you really understand just how smooth uh, this bike is. I know if that was on my, my older bike there and I went over it at, at that speed um, I would have definitely been uh, been feeling it a lot more than on this bike.
I love riding along by the ocean. The scenery is absolutely stunning. There's just something so peaceful about it. That's the ferry terminal there. You can catch the ferry to uh, St. John, New Brunswick. Not sure how long the, the ride is. I've never, never taken it. I select sport mode here uh, to give her a little try. See, uh, see how the bike reacts. So we'll see. Uh, basically, end up doing about 100 kilometers uh, an hour in fifth gear, as opposed to. Normally, uh, in tour mode, you'll be in uh, fifth gear at about 50 kilometers an hour. So, it holds on to the RPMs in uh, in sport mode, which obviously gives you a lot more uh, get up and go and uh, power when you want it. So, that's one really really nice thing about this bike. This bike can be uh, pretty much whatever you want. You want to be a sport touring or touring, you, you know, you just change the modes and and it's going to suit what you want. flyby here. I guess the guys are down uh, doing a flyover of the uh, wharf uh, rat rally there in Big Digby. Greenwood base is only about 100 kilometers away so 
Those guys would be here in no time.
Well, that's the end of the test ride. It took about 30 minutes, and uh, after just 30 minutes riding this bike, uh, it's no trouble to feel right at home. If you've ridden uh, like a, anywhere from a mid size to a large bike, say 750 cc's on upward, you'll have no problem uh, uh, getting on this bike and having a good ride. You also see uh, during the parking here, this thing is really, really balanced for low speed uh, maneuvering. I take a few minutes here just to try the walking mode, the forward and the reverse, and uh, this thing is so finely tuned. You can move it as gently as you want. It's a, it's a really, really good feature of this bike also. gentleman was asking me how I like the uh, DCT model. Um, he's going to take it out for a test drive right away. So uh, I told him basically for me, it's it's my preferred uh, bike over the standard. If you liked the video, uh, like and subscribe. Thank you very much.